This 11-year-old chihuahua, female, not spit, has an ingrown toenail. But that's not the main problem. She also has a skin disease that makes her lose fur and itch badly every day. She even scratches wounds in herself. Find out how the vet diagnoses and treats this dog. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets. This video is about the treatment of a chihuahua potentially suffering from sex hormone dermatosis. This video contains surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. 28th of August, total, a sunny day. How was the chihuahua? Tuesday. Uh, I think about 12. I can't really remember the... I don't bring the card. Okay, today, today what is the main thing? Okay, the, the toenail here, you in see that become uh, swollen already. Mm, yeah, then, in, grown in there. Uh, yeah. Grown. Then actually I wanted to discuss oh, on oh. the skin also. Shine on it. Uh. Okay, shine on it. This is called ingrown toenail. This is swell also. Oh. Then the other thing? The other thing is the skin problem, right? Okay. It actually gets worse. That time I spoke to the other doctor, then he actually recommended to neutral to uh spade. Yeah, correct. But I was thinking probably she's a bit too old, that's why that time I cancelled the appointment. That time was how old? The that time was how, about one year ago actually, I came here about one year ago. How did the hair loss come about? Yeah, it actually just happened. This is so from where? Where it started from? Started from about maybe this side. three years. Uh, yeah, yeah, from here. From right. behind first side. Yeah, behind first. Yeah, the side. Yes. The two sides are, and then yeah. the document leaking. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Then now start scratching and like that. Mm. Uh, at first, this this side has hair, right? The yes, front side. Yes. Correct. Yes. The whole front got nice yes. hair, lah. Yes. Do you have any photos? Do you have any one? photos? Of of before. Before. Uh, not before, because now oh. when, the, when the first hair loss huh? yes. oh. comes, you hold the dog, one hand hold it. You just see the back side of okay, hold on now. You have to use the right hand to hold and the left hand to... Someone will use common sense. Huh? But you don't know set first, huh? No, I think I don't have the photos anymore, but yeah, uh, it started from the back first. Which part exactly? Do you know? Uh, here. The side, is it yes. here? Is it here? This part? Oh, I think so, yes. And this part on top yeah. has hair? Yes. This one up to here, it still have. Oh, uh, has hair. Oh. Hmm. That was three years ago, huh? Yeah. And then it's very itchy, is it? Yes, I think so. Then but the dog also bite the tail? Recently, so like started from one year ago, then started bonding at that area. So. Tail biting? Yeah. Did the dog chase the tail? Okay, uh, no. Rock the back side of the floor? Uh, no. No. Then we just uh, turn upside down. You hold on a bit, huh? just like that we do yeah. No, no you put down. Any milk or not? Huh? Milk? No. Forced pregnancy, you call it? No. Any heat period? Uh, yeah, I think still have. Yes. When? When was the last heat? The last heat should be around okay, maybe one or two weeks ago. Mm, still have any heat, huh? Okay, one hand. Uh, what color was the discharge? Discharge? Reddish? Pure uh, blood? Yeah, still. Still, I just draw blood. It's considered 11 years old, huh? Appetite is good or bad now? Appetite is okay, normal. Everything else is normal except, on, the, hair. except the hair and the itch. The hair and the itch, huh? Yeah, and okay. So now, below also. Yeah, yeah, now the eyes is here. Cut the right one. Yeah, correct. Check the mouth first. Huh? Hold the top. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's check the mouth. Huh? Has mm -hmm. this dog got any fleas or ticks? No, I don't think so. Hey, hey. Oh, you come, you come nearer first. No, you come, come nearer. Oh, no. come nearer. No, has it got any teeth? No more teeth? Uh, have, have, still have. Hmm? Let me have. check. Um, check. Okay, check the, check the mucous membrane, okay. Yeah. Shine on, only that one. Just check whether it's pure or not. Not pure, uh. still good, no? Yeah, still good. Okay, so the, the condition of this hair loss, uh, yeah. one, one, one reason is mm. due to the sex hormones are uh, yeah. excessive. Uh. Yeah. So you put too much of either female hormones, 
in this case a female dog. Uh -huh. Then of course uh, the hair starts to okay. come out because not not balance uh, hormone. Uh -huh. So in some cases when you sterilize them, uh, uh -huh. then this the, the hair grows back. There is one case, uh, one situation where they start with this bonus first. Uh, uh -huh. It looks like here. So yeah. Now the other possibility of course is uh, allergy. Uh. There's one allergy called the flea dermatitis. Uh. Of course, I don't think yours has fleas. Uh. Yeah, no, so it becomes very itchy. Mm. Then the third one will be uh, other al allergies. Uh. Oh, okay. uh, so there are few few uh, reasons for we call it the bilateral mm -hmm. and andro, uh, endocrine mm -hmm. alopecia. Bilateral means two sides. Endocrine mm -hmm. means hormonal okay. alopecia. And it's very oh. itchy. Uh. Yeah. Now the, the menses, the period, is it the reddish blood, pure blood? Yeah, reddish, yeah. Pure one, pure red uh, at this uh, age. Uh. Hold, uh, it's I not just. those dark colored ones. Mm. Okay, relax. Huh? Is, is it regular, six monthly? Uh, this one I never tried. Hmm? You never checked? Yeah, I never tried. Yeah. So you don't know? Huh? Yeah. So the good news is that it doesn't have breast tumors and mm. uh, don't have any swelling. Are you still eating well, right? Drink yeah, a lot of water? Eating. Yes. Uh, no, not really drink, normal. Drink normal. Mm. Yeah, this dog is actually quite good. Yeah, so. Okay. All the teeth <coughs> came out already, yeah, most of them, right? Yeah, right. Okay, so so what do you want to do now? We just uh, do the nail. Yeah, then uh, do the you still suggest to sterilize, uh, sterilize her? It's just that I, I'm not so concerned about the hair loss, uh, but it's just that the, you know, the itch, which can be like this, can be like bleeding. Yeah, because it's keeps on scratching. Yeah. So when it scratch, uh, the bacteria comes in, is it? Mm. Comes in and then the whole dog becomes uh, the skin becomes infected. Yes. Then you may have mites coming in. So Correct. So, so maybe it's because of that. Check the ears. And then I have the legs. And it's scratching the ears? No. No. It looks okay. And it's smell from the ear? No. It looks no, alright. No. Let me check the other side. Huh? But it's a risk uh, because of the stage. Uh. Oh, the top stage is quite quite old. Okay, so, so you, you have to think about it now. Yeah, that's why actually I had second thoughts also last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. The best is to do a blood test to check whether the kidneys and liver are okay or not. Yes, mm. yes are good. Actually last year we did the blood test then it's still okay, results still okay. Mm. But last year is outdated. Yeah. I mean, you normally give it two months or three months. Okay. Outdated. But if we don't do, if we don't sterilize, then we should. I should just put mm. some cleans, right? All this. It doesn't help, is it? Then the, the worst thing is that the, the skin gets infected and they're very smelly, the whole skin. Oh. And then they use antibiotics, but after a while, uh -huh. again, it comes back again. So that's the reason. Oh. Oh, uh, let me check the heart and lungs. Uh. Come. Any coughing? No. Still good. Very good at the heart. Oh. Normal. You're still quite healthy. Lungs, let me check. Oh, very good. No, no lung sounds. Uh. Mm. With your hand, hand off the Overall okay, except yeah. you don't know the liver, the kidney and the blood system. So Most of it has got blood cell uh, infection. What blood cells? Yeah, the time the previous infection. Skin, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It, this will come, you see, because of the the skin right, yeah. um, skin scratching uh, and yeah. bruises, uh, the ulcers, the skin ulcers. I can do another blood test then. Yeah. But it's still okay to go through sterilization with this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it can be done. It's just that okay. It's just that if it's a hormonal cause, uh -huh. then after you sterilize, then the, the itch goes off. No? Okay. Uh, then uh, the, the, the dog feels happier. And so, of course, antibiotics. No? Yeah. Uh, so, today we will just remove the, the nail, nail yeah. and then give antibiotics first. Yeah. Take the yeah. blood test. No? Correct. But the okay. trouble with many owners is that they, they, they delay. You see? So, after the blood test, uh -huh. let's say it's, it's normal mm -hmm. or, or, or mm -hmm. no more infection, then uh, 
you have to decide you cannot wait until another three months later then you say well now I want to do already because it's oh, really okay. smelly you know, the whole, yes. whole skin is rotten and, yeah. and it stings uh, because okay. some of these dogs can live up to 15 uh, okay. this chihuahua actually this fellow whose uh, habitat is still good right? yes, only a bit thin uh, yes. uh, and other than that the heart and lungs are okay mm. so the only thing is the liver and kidney uh, mm. okay. and the blood system so okay. if these are okay then uh, the lifespan, I'm talking about it, it, it has no cancer, mm -hmm. it has no breast tumor, mm -hmm. so no pyometra, which is the infection of the womb, uh, then chances are it can live up to 15 to 20. I mean, mm -hmm. okay. it seems to be quite healthy, except the cataract. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, this cataract, you can't see anything, right? I think you cannot. Uh, can you see? This is uh, really a mature cataract. Actually, I'm not so sure. If I give her a snack, she knows where to go. No, it's a mature cataract because you can't see. The light cannot go through there. Eh? We call it a mature cataract. Okay. It means very white. But it seems to be able to react to some light. Eh? Then it still can, can close. Eh? Mm. So you probably can see. Eh? Can you see the bang do anything? Sometimes, he, yeah. Hmm? Sometimes. I haven't seen such a old. Actually, it's not very old, right? 11. Are you sure it's 11? Uh, no, actually, that's why I forgot Maybe the card. More than that, is it? Yeah, more than that. Okay, finish one. The vet first removed the ingrown toenail and trimmed the nail that could potentially become ingrown. Okay, so normally this one is ingrown due to flesh. So we just cut from here, the, the, we can pull it out. Huh? Slightly painful there, pull out. Then that's it, some bleeding, but I'll let pull it out. You see? So we we'll clean up the bleeding. Wait, wait, let me just clean up. Leading point, and uh, we put a bandage sometimes, then that will be okay. Really. Yeah. Antibiotics and anti inflammatory. So, you can put a bandage in. I hold the dog. Okay, the bandage. Bandage is just to stop the bleeding temporarily. That's all. We need the Straight bandage will do, don't, don't do any, don't do anything else, we just straight bandage this side. Okay. Just pass it. Just, uh, just press it, uh, press it, and then bandage on here. Then we go on the antibiotics. Actually, this type of cases is not difficult, I right? just uh, if the dog is okay, no need, no need sedation. Uh. Mm. If it's not okay, then we have to sedate. Okay, uh, not too tight. Uh. Too tight will be problem for the doctor. Then I give an injection. Now this is the size of your know, bit quite long. Okay. For the doctor, let me give an injection. Yeah. And uh, so the treatment is that in some cases you have to start the whole whole. Uh, because you will come back again, it's so far the whole tool. There should be drastic. You never need anesthetic. Mm. So now we don't have anesthetic, so we just cut it, cut it to the nail. Then the blood test, you show the blood the blood mm. for examination. That's for checking the health before sterilization. The dog will be on antibiotics huh? for 10 days. Okay, finish up. Let me try the difference. And they got this and they implement it again. Okay, so only put under the skin and do it. Facing the other. Uh, well, the whole process should, should take less than uh, less than uh, 10 minutes of the whole process. That's how it takes. Okay, finish it. Okay. The dog's blood was also taken to check the dog's health in preparation for a spade which will take place in 14 days' time. The vet also suggested some other forms of treatment. Firstly, spaying the dog would help the dog recover from its skin disease, as the skin disease is likely to be hormonal, and spaying would remove the source of these sex hormones, the uterus and the ovaries. Hypoallergenic dog food was also suggested to prevent allergies and more skin rashes. Thirdly, 
bacterial and fungal killing medications will be prescribed to kill the bacteria on the skin. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit topiovets.com or call or email these contacts 0700-222-2000.